How do you find your way back home? How does one find their way back to God? Well, thankfully for this question, there's a lot of great answers in the Bible. One that stands out in particular is the story of the prodigal son. You've heard it a thousand million times. It's the story of a young man who has a wealthy father. He goes up to his dad and says, Dad, give me my inheritance now, AKA, Dad, die and give me my money. He takes his money to some nondescript town like Vegas. He makes it rain. He buys all the alcohol you can imagine, gets plastered on the wall, buys prostitutes, and he's morally bankrupt. When the money runs out, the fun runs out, the friends are gone, he has a predicament. He has to choose where he's going to go with his life. And his options aren't great. He decides to go back home. And you would think, game over. When dad sees him, he's a goner. And he probably, he probably thought the same thing. As he's walking in the distance, the father sees him returning. The father begins to run at him. And generally speaking, it's not a good thing when your dad runs it at you. I can't think of too many instances. But as the father is getting closer, he winds up and he gives the prodigal son probably the biggest hug he's ever received in his life. And everyone's shocked because it's like, why are you hugging him? Not only that, he throws a party for him. He tells his servants to come clean him, bathe him, put new clothes on him. We're going to celebrate and rejoice. The older brother, of course, and if you have siblings, you get it. You don't like it when your sibling commits murder and then your parent takes them to Chuck E. Cheese, naturally. The older brother's losing his mind, jealous, infuriated. Why? Why? The father explains to him, your brother was dead, but he's come back to life. He was lost and now he has been found. And for that reason, we need to celebrate and rejoice. Brothers and sisters, I don't know where you're at. I don't know how lost you feel. I don't know what you've done or how many times you've done it. I don't know what your addiction of choice is. I don't know what's gone down in your life. But chances are, if you're like me and just about anybody on this planet, you've fallen short of the glory of God. You've sinned. But the good news, just like in the story of the prodigal son, is that the father is waiting for us to come back home. And how do we find our way back home? It's really simple. You begin by dropping to your knees. You begin by being honest with God, taking inventory of your life. You begin by asking for forgiveness in your heart. And as Catholics, we have this tremendously wonderful gift. It's called the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Friends, at every Catholic church on the face of the planet, there is a priest who is willing to hear your sins. And it's not the priest who forgives us, it's God who uses the priest to forgive us. And the miracle of divine mercy takes place every time we avail ourselves of that sacrament. And so friends, it's time to come back home.